morning. It is exactly seven o'clock. It is, and I'm about to go to the gym. I like to buy this oats, it's like 90 seconds. So I'm gonna cook it quickly and then go. Time to head to the gym. I always feel so professional when I've got my socks like this. <laughs> Just finished my workout. My cap is even literally so. I really like it when it's like this. It's like I feel like I've done something. Okay, it's now quarter past eight, actually. Quarter past eight. That was a good workout. All I need. Also, my playlist is like proper, proper. Um, after eat my breakfast. Fortunately, the power hasn't cut as I anticipated. But... Uh, uh, Okay, I'm almost done with my iced coffee. I think I'm actually gonna take it into my office and get started. So this is what I'm wearing for now. Just this top from Tipo Jeans, it's from Woolworths. We the people. And then obviously my trusty steeds. And these are not Birkenstocks, these are actually from Cotton On. But yeah, and then I'm wearing the earrings that I'll be wearing later because I wanted to see how it would look with my hair. And that's what I'm going to wear until I have got to leave to go get my nails done. Let me come around this side. Hopefully, oh, hopefully you can see me from all the way there. But um, I just wanted to explain what it is that I'm going to be doing for the people that watch this, these videos out of interest about what my job entails. So this is today i'm drafting what is called an answering affidavit um this is the founding affidavit there's about 700 pages uh, fortunately i have read it before but i need to read it again today just to make sure that every single one of the points that i thought um, i had jotted down and discussed with my senior were the valid points there is a draft answering affidavit that i already did but that one is outdated because they went and then filed this monstrosity. So me today sitting here is look, I'm looking at our case and what answers we have in our case to respond to their case. So these are what is called, if you're a law student, these are motion proceedings. In an action, the equivalent of what I would be drafting would be a plea. Okay, so an action is where you're leading evidence in, in court um, and things like that, whereas with what is called a motion, um, you're leading evidence by way of the papers, so that's why it's this hefty. Um, and what I have to do is just respond to every single paragraph. So in an answering affidavit, you have to respond to every single allegation made in every single paragraph, um, otherwise you are deemed to have admitted that allegation so today is just looking at 
whether or not I've looked at every single allegation and whether or not I've responded to every single allegation. And if I haven't, to look in our case to see whether or not we have the answer. And if we don't have the answer, just to jot it down and to discuss with my senior in case they've picked it up somewhere or um, so that we can call our client and find out what the answer is to the particular allegation made. So that's the extent of what I'm going to be doing today. I have got a nail appointment at half past four. So I just want to be done with all of this. I've already been working on this. Um, if you watched my previous vlog, I worked on this, I think for four days now. So I'm, 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 I'm okay with knowing what is happening in the case, but just now it's all about finalizing and bringing everything together because my senior, as I was talking about us back and forth emailing, um, they had some input as well that I hadn't considered. So I have to do that. And then there's a couple of emails that I need to respond to. Um, it's November, so it's taxes. So I need to talk to my accountant about when next week we can have a Zoom to just discuss everything and how we're filing and all of that. And then I need to book a dentist appointment next week maybe, and then keep an eye out for what's going on with my visa. Um, because I am trying to go to the UK for something. So that's it. If you're wondering about the setup, um, it has to be like this when I can afford it or when I think, you know, the time calls for it, I am going to get a desktop Mac, but you always need, to need two screens because on the one screen, you have the information that has your case or what document that you're working on and you need another screen for the law because gone are the days where we would have law reports and everything and textbooks on shelves in our chambers and i do have that in my um, office in my chambers but here everything i just use on the legal databases i access the textbooks there and i access the case law on various databases as well so it's it really helps to have that second screen so my ipad works as that second screen and then at a later stage hopefully i will have my laptop be the second screen and then the desktop be the main screen and even on my laptop i'm working split screen because <laughs> i need to have all the documents that my client has given us and the document that i'm working on that i'm actually dropping on so if i do a time lapse now what you will see is me first reading then me uh, writing and then me typing or all three at the same time but yeah that's basically what i will do today i probably will work for about six hours straight um yeah i'll have a late lunch but yeah this is fairly urgent so i have to get moving with that i hope you find this interesting but that's what i'm doing today This is for the rules of the court and I need oh my gosh where is it yes there it is oh I need Cora Hoxter's admin law <laughs> let's put these By the way, this is the um, concentration music I listen to. It is part of classical concentration from Apple Music. Love it. 
Okay, I've only just finished reading everything and reacquainting myself with all the allegations. It's now 10 to 2 and I'm just going to take a break and go make myself some food and then when I get back I do all the typing. Um, this is what I use. This is an easel. It's an art easel and that's just where I'm going to put all my notes and then type from that when I'm done eating. and it's just raining but there's still some sun Right, about to leave for my nail appointment. I'm still not done work, but I need a break. This is the bag that I'm wearing. The bag is from Poetry. Oh, it's exactly half past now. And then my shoes are from Woolworths. And like I said, my dress is from Amanda Ledshiri or Liad Shiri. I don't know. Time to go. Trust me to book an appointment. Literally, peak traffic on a Friday evening taxi booting behind me on a friday evening or friday afternoon whilst there is load shedding fortunately i called the nail place and they appear to be experiencing this with a couple of customers so i'm okay i guess i'm okay i guess now i gotta look for parking oh my Ooh. Here's a spot. I hope nobody else saw it. I think someone saw it.
it's now half 25 to 8 and uh, i think i'm going to end the vlog here you saw my day today i didn't get everything that i needed to get done done but i was extremely productive for a friday and i'm just going to take it easy the rest of the day put on some kominsky method or master of none probably one of those two and call it a night i hope you enjoyed my vlog and i hope to see you again here next week bye